Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Leanne Latchmoy and I work for an organization called Birds Canada. And over the next couple of videos, we're gonna be exploring some of the recordings that we made um, with the help of some of your former classmates using bioacoustics technology. And you might be wondering what bioacoustics technology is. Um, bioacoustics is the field of, you know, sounds made by and affecting living creatures. And what we're gonna be talking about specifically is using recordings of, you know, the environment to help us get an idea for what kinds of birds are present in an area. And we do this with the help of a few different technologies, but the ones that we've used specifically with your class is an autonomous recording unit. And this is actually one of the ones that we set out with your classmates in January of last year. And basically what that box is, is sort of like a trail camera, but for sounds. And the difference is not that, you know, how a trail cam works where you have an animal that moves across the camera and that triggers the camera to go off and record the information. This is a little bit different in that you're setting it up to program ahead of time when it wants to turn on and turn off to make sound recording. So you can do this to record all day, but that would be a lot of information. So what we do is sample different times of day. So we're gonna be sampling um, recordings that are made in, in the early morning, recordings that are made overnight, and this is going to capture when a lot of birds are active. So most birds are active in the early morning hours, where that's when they get singing, that's when they really get going. But there's also some birds that call at night, like owls and things, so you might be wanting to sample at night for different kinds of birds. And basically, it's a box like this, and what's great about the forest is that you can tie it up to a tree with a really super scientific method of using wire. So you wrap that to a tree kind of like a present. You've got it all programmed and ready to go. And in it, you're gonna be marking the location where it is. And it's going to stamp each recording that it makes with information about the location and when the recording was made. We've got little microphones here and those basically act as the ears. So you're gonna put one on one side, just like this and another one on the other side. Let's see here, it's kind of awkward to do in front of a camera, hey? And this allows you to record in stereo. So when you pick this recorder back up and you take a look at the files that it made, you're gonna be able to listen to it in stereo. So you're gonna have some headphones on and you wind up hearing, you know, what kind of sounds like the forest all around you. So you can even hear, it's like, oh, there's a bird over that way, or hey, there's a bird that way. And that allows you to count them. So we've been doing this as, as part of the Saskatchewan Breeding Bird Alice. So this is actually gonna, you know, provide information that we're going to use in real life science. So that's pretty cool. Um, over the next couple of videos, I'm going to show you a little bit about the internal workings of this. And I haven't opened these yet at all. So it's going to be a surprise for me too. So I'll show you the process of taking the, the data cards out, putting them in a computer, and then we're going to be listening to and looking at some of the sounds for the very first time together. So I'm excited for this and hopefully you enjoy this short little series of videos. Thank you.